somewhere between Mother Nature and Father Time. There's a spiraling myth about a father forever chasing the rising sun. Mark Bamudi Joseph is a modern day griot, a storyteller who weaves his tales out of spoken word, visuals, movement, and rap. All of that and racism got fat off his own PR. He said, I am the star of this show. And there he go. He embedded himself in the cornerstone of all the new nations. He made himself chair of the House of Appropriations. Nothing was safe. If you want to see somebody Until express Chase poetry through their body, like you probably haven't really seen before. Hey, if you want to get your pulse on, on what's happening right now in, in hip hop um, culture, in hip hop performance, in hip hop discourse, um, then you should really see what Bamuti does. It is Friday night. The dance floor packed. I've been at the club maybe 20 minutes. I've heard four songs by MCs who've been indicted or convicted of sexual abuse. And the dance floor is packed. Bamuti is one of the stars of hip hop theater, an emerging theatrical form where Shakespeare and beatboxing are seamlessly fused. I've been performing since I was five years old. Did commercials when I was very, very young and moved to the Broadway stage when I was nine, did a television series when I was 12 and 13. When I was 21, I found myself here in the Bay Area um, in another performance venue, first in the Poetry Slam and um, then as a playwright. The Bay Guardian has chosen Bamuti for a Goldie Award and a front page placement. I can't get a break. The media attention is nothing new for this 28-year-old native New Yorker who's already won four spoken word poetry slams and was featured on HBO's Deaf Poetry Jam. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> Thank you. Could you please write for me seven things that you do on a normal day? Yes, you gotta write. <laughs> again, and again, and again. Off stage, Ramudi works for Youth Speaks, a San Francisco nonprofit that promotes youth involvement in spoken word. What's the, di what's the difference between normal and natural? Yes, sir. Uh, something, that you, uh, something that you do is like normal, like what you like to do, and then something that's like natural is something you have to do. It all really, for me, begins in the classroom. I have my kids write about what's on my mind, and in hearing their answers, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I get, you know, 30, 40, 50 different perspectives on what I'm thinking. That doesn't mean it's not normal. So then what defines what is normal? Society. Environment. Society and environment. I love both. And let's just combine them and let's just call, let's just say. I take that, I go home, I climb upstairs, I pull out the legal pad, and maybe seven lines, maybe ten lines will come out, I go to sleep. I want you to think about one moment in your life when you think you were behaving normally and got in trouble for it. In one way, yeah, I'm trying to enable the kids to, you know, to find their, their own voice. But as I hear these voices, it's like a, you know, it's like a chorus for me and becomes um, a soundtrack, if you will, to the spirit and to the creation of, of new work. Sometimes I want to kill that black deep voice in there permanently. It's beautiful because it's real. Anybody else? It's hot. It is hot. It is hot. You know what's not hot, though, are plums and bananas and apples. You In the some? spring of 2001, Bamudi found out he was going to be a father. You want a plum? It was the beginning of a birthing process on many levels. What emerged was his first solo theatrical work, Word Becomes Flesh. Word Becomes Flesh is a series of performed letters from father to unborn son. It, um, the piece uses poetry and live music dance, visual art, 
to document nine months of pregnancy from a young, unwed father's perspective. Hurts. What hurts? Uh, 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 Let me kiss it. All better? It deals with the struggle and pain involved in raising a young brown boy in a society that uh, already puts three strikes on him even before he leaves the womb. What'd you say? Thank you. Thank you. It's my man, do me proud, right? Like this, this to me is is myth, is the mythology, right, mm -hmm. of life, death. It's a week before his first performance of the new piece. So, Bamudi and director Gloria Bigelow are still hashing out the script. It is a journey taking a work from the page to the stage. Um, so I think you you know you need someone that can dissect your script, and who also will get to know you and ask you. Um, Penetrating I, questions. I don't know. I don't know where this first section. I don't know who the. So why are you saying it? As opposed to just moving it, mm -hmm. or just dancing it, it makes a big difference for me. Not to um, put a, a time limit on my writing. Um, it's ready when it's ready. After seven months of preparation. Word Becomes Flesh is premiering at the Alice Arts Damn, Theater in Oakland. Good! I'm gonna be a father! Next week! <laughs> the beautiful thing for me in performing Word Becomes Flesh is that because it's just me, I don't really have a chance to think. That it really, truly serves as a meditation. In that, it's the one space where I can't be anywhere else. Birthrights! Blackouts, black holes, whole earth, hold on and push and breathe and push and breathe. You arrive like Mandela release, like the judgment, like color after the rain. Nothing Blackouts, cuts holes, closer to us than sound and word sound power in particular. And father time making matter a fact, an act of deliverance. An alleluia. Welcome to the world. The, the way um, Allah spoke to Muhammad to, um, to deliver the Quran in the way that we refer to um, Jesus Christ as the li and the Gospels as the living word. We associate these spiritual traditions with language for a reason. And breathe and push and breathe as old as the universe is young. Welcome back and push, yes, and breathe, yes, and hold on, whole earth, black out, black hole. There's a particular earth, vibration earth, that's carried in sound and in voice and it is deeply spiritual for me.